In this video, I'm installing Postmarket OS with the Plasma mobile interface on a OnePlus 6T using two methods. Sometimes you end up with problems like the one shown here on the right, and if that's the case, try the other method. So first I'm going to install using the UB Ports installer. I was surprised to find how simple this method is, however I did end up with that little artifact on the screen that I showed earlier. So try out which method works for you and you have different options. First go and download the installer appropriate for your computer. So first, when you open the UB Ports installer, it has the ability to detect the device automatically, but I'm going to select it manually here as the device is currently switched off. You don't need to downgrade to Android 9 for post-market OS, however if you are installing Ubuntu Touch, you should do this. Also your device should be unlocked, and that is a prerequisite for most of these custom OS's. Second, your device needs to be OEM unlocked from the bootloader, meaning the bootloader needs unlocking. If you don't know how to do this, the installer actually shows a pretty good tutorial depending on which OS you're coming from. Chances are it's Android, so you would do that by going into settings and about phone, pressing on the build number a number of times until developer mode is enabled, then go back into the developer settings from the settings menu and you can enable OEM unlock. From there you will be unlocking the device via the bootloader. The UB Ports installer can automatically do this, but if you're doing the command line version you may have to type that in automatically. Now we can choose our OS that we want to install. The release you can choose from the Edge channel or the stable releases, keeping in mind that the edge channel is sometimes broken and might not boot or have other issues, although it will provide you with the latest features. Second, you can select the user interface. From these four options, I'm choosing Plasma Mobile. So from there you want the device in bootloader mode. You'll notice that the written instructions don't match the image on the left. For a OnePlus 6T, you need to hold both the volume up and volume down buttons while powering it on. This will get you to fast boot mode. Here my device is unlocked. If it, yours is not unlocked, this is where you would enter in the OEM unlock command from the command line shown in the description below. Once you're ready to install, be sure to plug in the device and then simply press continue. Now here we have a few bugs showing up in the installer and if it doesn't install properly for you with this method, keep watching. We'll show you how to install it via the command line. This is not always the case. The installer does work frequently, but the results will be different for each device and each person, really. So if we want to install through the official method from the command line, we go to the Postmarket OS website and 
with our device still in bootloader mode, we click here download from the page and scroll down to our device to download the images. Here for the OnePlus 6T, we have the options on the right for the most recent stable release and the Edge channel as I described earlier. Now I'm showing you the downloads for the Edge channel. However, many of these are not working as of the recording of this video. But I'll still show you it's the same method of installation whether you use the stable release or an edge release. So when downloading the image, you need to download these two files. One is the boot image and one is the user data image. So click on both and do wait as that second user image file takes quite a while to download. But once those are downloaded, you will have to extract them. Again, the boot image is much smaller and goes quickly. Here I'm going to rename it to something a little easier to work with instead of that long file name. Now we'll extract the main image, which again takes a while and be sure that's complete before renaming the file or doing anything else. To use command line on Windows, you will have to download the platform tools package and I'm assuming you have that already extracted to a folder and you know how to use that. If not, look at the links in the description for some help with that. If you're on a GNU slash Linux system, it should be fairly straightforward using the terminal as is. Now with the main image extracted, I'm going to rename it again to something a little easier to work with. For this purpose, I'm going to now move both of these images into my platform tools directory just so I know where they are and are easier to access when using the command line. So now we can follow with the installation instructions. For the OnePlus 6T Fajita, it does not really provide instructions, but it refers to the OnePlus 6 page, which is basically the same installation procedure. So here again is that OEM unlock command if you need it. But we want to focus on these three commands here in Fastboot. So as before, we are already in Fastboot mode. And now we need to use platform tools. So we can run Fastboot commands. And we see our images are there in our folder. And we simply just run these three commands to install. So the first command fastboot erase DTBO, fastboot flash boot, and then the boot image. Here I renamed it to Fajita boot. The last command fastboot flash user data and then the user data file name. This one will take a while and it sends it in four parts. But once it's done, the installation is complete. If any errors show up here, 
then there may be a problem with the file that you downloaded and you should re-download it or try a different image. So I imagine that the UbiPorts installer is running these same exact commands in the background. However, I did find that the results were different. So again, try out which one works best for you. Now with the fourth part installed, we can then boot right from the bootloader by pressing the power button. Here I'll note that this first boot is actually using the stable version rather than the edge version that I showed in the download because the edge versions were not booting for me at the time of this video. I have installed Edge versions in the past that worked, but depending on when you are installing, they may or may not work. So try different versions until you get one that is working for you. Another note on these first boots, sometimes they run into some issues if that happens, you can try holding down the power button and rebooting the device and see if that fixes it. So here we've booted into the stable version of Plasma Mobile. The default password is 147147. And at this time you see there's a bit of a screen issue. So I'm going to reboot the device and see if that fixes it. Generally it does. So holding down the power button until it reboots, we should be able to get it to boot properly. So these are the basic instructions for installing post-market OS, whether it's Plasma Mobile, Gnome Mobile, Fosh, or SXMO, you can follow these same methods. Thanks again for watching, and if this video helped you out, please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave your comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.